Hello YouTube, I am once again back with Seven Days to Die, the long haul, or Seven Days, yeah, whatever it's called uh, at this point. Um, I'm doing, uh, I've just been hanging out all night here, just trying to do, uh, actually do some upgrades to this, uh, to the ramp. I'm just upgrading it all to from wood frames to actual proper wood. There is a little bit of reinf reinforced wood upgrades here, just to, because I actually mixed the, you know, upgraded one too many times with the old hammer here, just, but it's a little, I just been working on this all night. We're getting close to the end of the progress on it, you know, and basically call it uh, good. You might be wondering like why I just don't, why I just uh, won't uh, call it a uh, you know just uh, upgrade all the concrete? That would be a ton of resources to a to a base. You know, that doesn't need to be uh, that doesn't need to be done. I'm super. I know I missed a row of frames uh, on one of the layers or. A couple layers, but I'm not really worried about like zombies destroying this too much. I mean, it's like as long as it just doesn't look like a giant skeleton of a uh, giant skeleton of a uh, wood uh, wood pieces hanging out. So I'm gonna c continue on this uh, just to get upgraded really quick, yo. Know, just to try to get it uh, all done for you. So I will see you in a little bit. And YouTube, that is... Whoop, whoops, my bad. Oh, wow, I actually almost... Actually almost ran out of wood for that. Oh, that's a little awkward. Oh. Why? Why must you... I actually, I, unironically enough, had enough for... Enough wood to actually get this upgraded. There we go. I want to make sure I get this last old frame upgraded. No. Game, please. Oh, I'm making a bot job of this. I have my apologies. Um, we'll just grab that, and then we'll just slap that frame not up there. Ah. <sighs> I did not mean to make this more complicated than it already is. And we'll actually just scrap those wedges because for now I don't really need them. Come on, please give me the, the wood. Just gotta wait on it just a little second here. There. There we go. That's the and that's the whole uh ramp upgrade. I don't really care about the uh the reinforce upgrades I actually did. They're all mistakes and yeah, you know, I think I did a couple on the on the ramp itself. Yeah, I did. Eh, whatever. I'm actually very thirsty, and yo, know, I was starting to get really thirsty. So, yeah, a little bit of upgrading overnight. You know, the the base hasn't changed all that much. Um, I do need to figure out a way to get in here without. Using the me, he's the mini bike. Come on, check on our resources here. We got clay and all that. Well, no, we got cement. And I just need to see how much sand I have. Um, unfortunately, not uh, none. But that's okay. We can do. You know what? Uh, where's my cement mixers at? Oh, well, my cement mixer. We do have more of that right there, so what I'll actually do is I'll just that <laughs> oh that sound just run away oh, like there's no tomorrow. <sighs> but while we're waiting for that, we should do a little bit of looting. I don't think I've looted the the uh, 
I think there's an Amicon funeral home in here, so. Eat up a little bit. And I think we'll go check that out after I do a little bit of uh, tree planting down the road. Uh, I was going to grab the mini bike and I forgot that it was upstairs. Uh, I'm still getting used to this a little bit, so. Forgive me for not being used to my own base yet. I need to put up some guardrails, because otherwise I will continue to fall. I want to put these tree. I want to put the tree seeds. Uh, they're the trees from the from the winter biome. I want to put them like way down the road, just so I like it makes it a little bit more irritating for. It makes it a little bit more um, not great, but you know, just it makes it a little bit more irritating, but. It, it makes it to where it's, uh, I have a fairly substantial supply of wood just for, for a little bit of, uh, you know, and hopefully, you know, helps me out sooner rather than later. Whoops, um, that, that was a little strange. Why is it being, why is it not placing? Must be, must be having an issue with the world. That's no biggie. Um. Oh, please don't. I like, I would like to, I'd like to try to keep this in a. Oh, Drago, it was just, uh. I think it was having a problem with the, with where I was placing the seeds, and it just kept doing it. That's a little quirk of the. That's a little bit of a quirk here. Um, yeah, you, know, you can't. You guys can't on YouTube can't see uh, Drago's messages, but he does uh, be a little bit chatty from time to time uh, while I stream this. And uh, yeah, I do want to remind you folks that uh, I do uh, stream this on Twitch, usually uh, Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So. Yeah, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to watch the series as it unfolds live, and uh, also gets, you know, becomes a, a regular thing, then uh, I encourage you to do so at, on Twitch and links down in the description below. Um, back to what we were doing though. We got the old. Uh, we gotta go do. Want to go? Wanted to go check for the. For the um. The Amagon Funeral Home. Just want to uh, sort out some stuff uh, on the on the weapon side of things. It's on the southern end of town. It's one of those uh, I would like to go and go and pill go and search for another town and all that. Um, you know, have have the fun of it. Would love to, but it, the Horror Night's coming up. <laughs> Uh, day, so we got we got more to do. It's like you just want to do a lot of um, old. Uh, you just want to break a lot of stuff down and just make it better. Mikey, good to see you. Was picking up the gas barrels for extra gasoline for future purposes. Oh, Psycho Steve. Yeah, there is the Amagon Funeral Home. Um, yeah. See Bob and Nancy over here. We'll take. We'll say hello to them. Come here, guys. Come on, Bob. Hun, going on back and oh, can't stand it when I miss these swings like this. Hey, come on. There we go. We got old Curly. He's one to have a word with me. Come on. There we go. Take care of you. Let's get let's get cruising again with the with the old uh, mini bike. Yep. Don't worry. caller was one to come after me. Guys, so relentless. All right. Am I gone? My funeral home. Well, let's take no. Oh, let's uh, break right in here. Nice to actually break in. Uh, break those in one shot now. 
Got the coffins, they don't usually provide too much. Fertilizer, not a bad idea. I really should start a farm, which I think we'll probably do after a little bit of looting. Um, break in through the front here, and let's just check these really quick. Gas can schematic, and then we got more bullet casings. Extra bullet casings uh, are always welcome. Take care of Marla. There's nothing in that one, and yeah, these wood chests usually don't have anything. They're just basically, basically, um, storage. Yeah, Drago says uh, farming's fun, which he is correct. It is, and there we go. Check these old sinks here, and I always check to see if there's any of these drawers. Yeah, Drago's saying that uh, he's he grows corn and potatoes, which is uh, definitely a good option to do. You know, that way you can make uh, make meat too. He says he also grow uh, grows blueberries, which you can make uh, apple pies with uh, apple pies out of blueberries. What am I saying there? I <laughs> well, that was a that was a sentence. Nice magnum frame out of that corpse. Couple magnum pieces out of that. Um, just grab some stuff really quick. But a puffer coat, we'll gladly take that. And I think, I think this is basically just the old uh, back door here. Yep, yep, not too much. We got some more company. Want to have a word with me? Bye, Charlie. And Psycho Steve wants to have a word with me. Can't figure out how to get through a back door. There you go. Blunt weapon's now level 56. Hey, gas barrel. Take that. Not really much in this uh, POI. Yeah, nothing out of you. And speaking of blueberries, there's a blueberry. Ha. Huh. Um. Yeah, not much in there. We'll even check out this uh, house next to the... Ostrich Hotel. Mikey, come on. There you go. Ha! Ah. Some extra brass, too. How nice of him. Alright, who's uh, who's beating... Who wants to have a word with me? Bob. Come here, Bob. There you go. Marla. Ow! Me immediately get affected by the first zombie that hits me today. Joy. There you go. And... Shotgun shells and 7.62s. Gladly take those. And... There we go. Nurse is gone, and... A little funky hitbox on those. And nightstands. We got green skull cap and all that. We <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice uh, magnum buffer coat. Drago says, um, and a little bit of lead and all that. We'll just actually scrap that up. Just grab that. Um, blood bag. Will, I was gonna say I would just eat, but well, I would say drink, but. Potato, potato. Um, cardboard boxes that already been searched, and there should be just a nightstand. Got a gas can, got a gas can schematic. Science is really not one of those uh, skills that I, I really use in this game. It's just, to me, it's a, it's a, it's one of those you just really use it for unlocking a chemistry station. Which, speaking of which, just out of curiosity, I got 30 skill points to spend, and well, I could invest a couple into the Pummel Pete. For completion's sake, we'll just do the, we'll do the chemistry station, even though I already got two that I don't really use. We can even invest into Quality Joe, level two. That means we should get better. 
quality from our items. We only got five skill points to spend. Otherwise, I was going to invest into Pummel Pete. Hey, Magnum Cylinder. Um, hang on. There we go. We can grab those, and then we can just slab that together temporarily, even though we're close to town. Uh, let's see what's in here. There's a couple bookshelves and a and a um in a garage box. No, it's in the old uh, um bookshelves because uh, they don't have any. Well, game just felt like saying no to me. Let's just uh, check to see who's out here. Oh, it's just Penny. Penny, come on over. Come here. There you go. Oh, that's going to be about it for the looting part. So, I think what I'm actually going to do is... Hey, steel pickaxe. I'll just grab it. Um, what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to go... Gonna start up a farm and... Uh, I'm thinking about, just as a precaution for, for Horde Knight, uh, just so, like, don't have any hitches, uh, go and collapse the, uh, the old, um, what do you call it, uh, bank. I know it seems a little ridiculous, but sometimes zombies get caught up on, it was the first Horde Knight, like, where zombies got caught up on it, and it is fairly close by, so, I think it'd be a good idea. Before I cut it, though, I was gonna say, it sounds like an airdrop. Uh, how far is that airdrop? I'll actually go drive up the drive over to the airdrop before starting the farming stuff. So, see you at the airdrop. Alrighty, short little drive later, and we're at the uh, at the old airdrop. Um, let me actually put some stuff in the the mini bike basket just to save me a little bit of headache. Alright, let's see what we got. Sniper rifle schematic. Are you serious? An AK-47 barrel. I, I'm not mad about that AK-47 barrel, That to be clear. No, I'm... I don't mind having that, because I could just... But it's like, I already found an AK-47 barrel yesterday. So, the, uh, the AK-47, it's like, you know, I'm just kind of like, I'm happy to see this as a, as a, as a drop, you know, like, at least you're giving me this, but I already have the barrel to the AK-47, and, like, you couldn't give me the stalker magazine. Oh well, that's just how that's just how the cookie crumbles in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, give me, a, I'm gonna go set up the farm and uh, do, and then work on collapsing the old bank, folks. So I will see. I will hopefully see you once the banks collapse before the end of the day. Well, YouTube, uh, I was tearing out the uh, tearing out the bank. Uh, no worries, Drago. Go ahead. See you later. Uh, Dragon's leaving the stream. Apologies for that interruption there, YouTube. But uh, while I'm tearing out the building, I realized like I was looking at some of the stuff in here. Hey, flaming arrow schematic. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, weapon smith in there. SMG schematic. I realized some of the loot actually despawned. No, respawned. My apologies. All right. So yeah, some decent, some more gun parts, as if I need them already, but it's gonna... I'm just kind of working my way through here. Um, I know I gotta chop my way through a whole bunch of... through a whole bunch of uh, concrete uh, blocks here. That's gonna be fun, but I just thought I'd provide you a little update on that. You know, got some... turns out like that we're actually kind of... I think the loot's actually respawned around here, so... Uh, let's just kind of take take the time to loot this all, because I'm not going to get this collapsed by night time. I'm just kind of realizing that. Either I didn't loot... I think the safe, some of the saves respawn, because you could you probably notice, like, in the middle there, like, uh, I didn't have... I didn't have, uh, like, the actual bank saves, so, like, the 
vault saves from respawn, but it but I think some of this has partially respawned over the journey. Like as I've searched this before, I believe. It's been a, it's been a while since I looted the bank, so bear with me on that front. Um we're gonna put some parts together. But yeah, it's well, it was a nice little unexpected surprise, but yeah. So, what I uh, I don't want to, you know, I don't usually like ending it at this time, but I'm gonna continue working on on a uh, collapsing, uh, getting ready to collapse the bank, and I should have it. I hopefully will have it ready by the, the time uh, by the time daytime rolls around. So. I'm going to leave this episode here. Have a great day. Take care.